Good morning. So this one is the our this year last enhancement, if no mistake. Mm. So maybe the next one will be the 2022 already. So today uh, I will talk about the dynamic enhancement first. Our dynamic enhancement will include the marketplace module, shop to go module, in cut module, and some of the host related module, and then subsidiary company module, and report features update and the miscellaneous update. Lah. I think the report features today will be will take a bit time because I think also I we've got a, one of the enhancement is quite interesting one. Okay, so we start now. So before you update the version, uh, before you update the version to twenty twenty one point three, you have to take note now. You have to update later. Have to update the server socket as well. Process manager. If got post system, have to update the client socket as well. So this one actually uh, is already released on last month, uh, end of the month. So if let's say you want to know more another fix or anything, you can later if you get the uh, our this slide, you can click here this link. You can be uh we, you can directly to link to the enhancement listing. So we got a, more of the enhancement for here and some of the fixes. So the first one today, we will talk about the marketplace module. Uh, for this one, I think uh, for, for cars, uh, at the moment, we got the Lazada, uh, Shopee actually. At the, for the last version, actually is the Shopee, uh, when you generate the invoice, only allowed to support document running number by year month. But for now, uh, we also support the site giant module and the Lazada module as well to support the document running number by year month. Cause uh, I think uh, maybe got a lot of people request like it. So we do this one enhancement as well. So you can do the setting as the last, uh, normally you do the year month for format. So now Lazada and site giant also allow, allow to set up. So you can check this setting to do. So this setting actually at the common module setup, you go through the document number setting, then you select your prefix and the Yaman format you want to do. Then you can see the sample, how, how to the output. Okay, so when you generate the invoice, actually the general invoice for most of the person or customer, they will let the system auto-generate. So it will generate follow the prefix with the year month format ID. So this is uh, quite uh, interesting for the customer always to ask one. So now you can able to update to our new version to get these features. Okay. So the next one will be got the enhancement for the marketplace generate invoice function to allow user to manually unlock install setup. Actually always will see the this uh, message field to generate invoice for Lazada, Shopee, or such giant. So when you see this, you cannot do anything. And then you always will call our support or help desk to, to call in. Maybe uh, how come the invoice no uh, no more auto generate ID? How come? Then for this one, the new features here, we once you got this uh, error message of message from the cannot generate the invoice, you can go through the store, like the Shopee store setup or Lazada store setup or site and store setup there. You will see the generate invoice setting there got this checkbox. So this checkbox here, you just uh, edit and untake this one, generate uh, customer invoice log. Then I have to make sure that this option, you unlock these features, you have un unlock this setting, you have to ensure all the general invoice function are stopped before unlocking. Cause sometimes maybe the lock is the system process major there to do the general invoice. So we're not sure anything is it running or, or, or not. So have to make sure it's uh, you stop it first uh, before you unlock. 
then if confirmed, then you click yes to unlock it. So once, once you untick, you will prompt this message, have to make sure for you to uh, the generate invoice function is stop. Okay. Another one is the auto download, auto download the order or generate invoice by adding the maximum number of days control. For last time here, you will set when you want to start the date to start the download order or download uh, or want to generate the invoice. So now we can set the set the date day. So maybe you if you set for uh, for here by default is the 30 days. Actually you can set uh, shorten than maybe you want two weeks you can set 14 days. So it will take the time to download more uh, faster. Because for last time you set if let's say uh, maybe last month first of September you set the date 2021. Then your uh, system is based on that day to generate uh, to download the invoice or generate an invoice. It will take the time long longer. If for here you will just uh set uh you if you set here the time uh, the day shorten, then you will take the time to faster to download the order or the general invoice. So this one is the new features after you update the 2021.3 version. So this one actually is including on the Shopee, Lazada, section as well. So you can check it at there. If let's say your, if your customer always say, how come uh, the download, the order takes so long time, then you can set, uh, shorten a bit. But have to, don't to, to, uh, to, to shorten up, maybe you don't set one day. Cause if you took one day, some of the, maybe uh, got update the status there, you cannot, uh, system will not update any status. Uh. So better you can set maybe minimum seven days will be better. Okay. The next one for added the partner authorization expiry date for the Shopee store. For the new, this is the new setting for the Shopee day. So Shopee authorized key will be expired in every 335 days according to Shopee new API. That's mean if let's say now I, I already to, to link already, to link uh, dynamic link to the Shopee by today. So it will start to calculate the days from now until the next year, 365 days later. So this one, what to do? You just, if let's say almost near the expired date, then you just need to reauthorize the Shopee authorized key before expired date to ensure the success of Shopee product or order or inventory sync from Shopee. So this one have to make sure you download, uh, you, you generate again or reauthorize again. So this one, uh, if let's say you up, after update, to this version, uh, the new version, you if let's by default here the expired date maybe is the first of January, one nine uh, one eight nine nine the year. So how you just click on more here to get the shop info again, then you will see the expired date will which will expire soon. So here you can get it up. Cause the uh, if let's say it's almost expired soon. How to do the authorize again? Actually, you click more and generate authorized code again. It's in the bar. If let's say you don't know, maybe you can click on the link here. How to do the authorized key? Actually, is how you usually set up the store. You just set up again. So you just click on the uh, authorized code there. Then you will prompt system. You prompt up the screen. You just key in the user or merchant the Lazada uh, seller sender at the username and password. Then if let's say they've, they've got the OTP, then you just uh, maybe to ask them to verify to get the OTP from them. And then you will see the screen like this. Then you click the confirmation and then you copy to click to, uh, to copy the shop ID. But for here, you no need to if let's say you just uh, reauthorize again, you no need to copy. La. 
cost the yeah, usually you copy already. So this one you just uh, after you done it, then you get you will get the just now the expired date again. Okay. So cost uh if let's say you know update lah, you have to ask the user if let's say for the old version you have to ask the user to log in to seller center to check on the partner platform there you will see the expired bit at here lah. but for now if let's say you update to, to the new version then your uh, user don't need to check from here already lah. directly can get from the screen already okay for the next one is to enhance the marketplace shopee integration by Apple. Okay, so this one is actually is the sector Shopee payment simulation process. So before you view this uh, sector Shopee payment simulation, have to make sure you go to the Shopee store management here. After you get the new, new version up, you will see these two options, get order income and get order payment transaction. So you download again, you download this two okay after that this one will you, you can see the order income or payment transaction at our the new screen set the shopee payment simulation there so how to get it actually is under the online store there you click the shopee then usually you can see two icon only now you can see the third icon is the set the shopee payment but this one is simulation only so uh, maybe for this screen actually is for you to viewing and checking on it does not have any function to posting the customer receipt or customer adjustment. So you have to, maybe you can export the record to the Excel for the payment inspection. So for here, you can see the order number and then the transaction date. And then it's, a, it's for the transaction time, you can know uh, this one is the unscrew verify add or minus is a uh, got few option for got a few type here maybe you can check so for here we also can check the invoice match amount cost uh this one you download to get the order but you uh you for the user also will check cost a uh, system will generate the invoice so we can see the invoice number then the invoice amount matching. So if let's say you do actually the screen to do send as the, our sector credit or at once the screen, you can apply to not off the, the amount. But for here now, at the moment, don't have the function yet. Lah. So maybe you can check the you can check the transaction ID, then you can see when withdraw date for the order or the payment. Then you can check on here. Actually, behind there, you can see some of the reason. Uh, maybe you got the return, then you can see the reason. Because a uh, pin screen here, I know shows behind the column. Maybe you can try to check it from here. But have to make sure, because uh, this one is the new function. So you have to make sure the user set up there to enable to, to access this screen. Okay. The next one for here also the sector Shopee payment submission there. Okay, for here we can see the order income and the invoice amount. Actually, uh, and the buyer payment. Uh. Okay, so order income is the merchant income from Shopee. Uh. Actually, uh, by every order there you can see the order income, how much after deduct the service charge uh, or transaction fee from the Shopee. And then the buyer payment is the same the amount actually same as uh, what we gen the invoice uh, for for the card uh, at the dynamo day so here you can see the amount actually is same as our the buyer payment amount same as the dynamo uh, the the invoice amount this is the payment by the buyer when they purchase uh. okay unless maybe uh some of the use merchant some of the user maybe they uh, don't want to include the shipping fee or coin, maybe the just the item. So uh, maybe, that's why when when check the invoice, maybe it will it will be different with the buyer payment screen. So it depends. If you follow the default one or the setting, uh, or 
at the Shopee store set up there, then actually the amount actually is sent with the buyer payment there. Okay. Another one is the auto sync quantity for the marketplace as well. So uh, for I think this one is uh, made some of the user or merchant that wait quite long time already. Lah. So finally we get the these features on 2021.3. Actually, uh, the features uh, actually already at 2020.2, some of the hot fix, but for maybe some of the hot fix already got already, but for 2021.3, uh, we have to make sure all the synchronization is worked up. That's why if can make sure update to the new version, for 2021.3 because uh, we do many QC for this to checking measure all is work already. So actually this one, the same quantity is based on the stock movement from the dynamo to sync to market price. For this one setting, you have to measure uh, the setting from every store set up there at the bottom there, you, you can see the auto sync quantity setting. You just enable this one, sync quantity to Shopee. The stock, stock selection, maybe you depends on the user, want to buy company or by location stock level. Okay, so we can set the setting from here. And then the location is actually by the setting, we generate the invoice setting there. If let's say the location is H2, so if let's say the user select uh, by location, that means only follow HQ location. Company is the whole company got what location, also we combine all the stock level. If let's say whole company got any stock movement, they will sync. Okay, so this one have to take note of this one is stock movement. And then after you set this one, also have to take note is you have to set the process manager as well for the same Shopee quantity. If let's say got, uh, to use the Lazada, I have to set the same Lazada quantity, set giant also as well. So, uh, but for the set giant one, maybe uh, when you upload the quantity, maybe will different with, with the store. So you have to take note is uh, maybe the pending order, cause the site giant there will, will be called the pending order. So it will deduct the pending order. If let's say uh, the site giant there got the pending order, not yet to uh, still waiting the customer, their customer or your customer there to pending to the payment. So it will deduct the pending quantity first. So if let's say the pending order, maybe the customer cancel order, so don't want to pay. So it will back, go back, uh, the, the quantity will uh, back to the normal. If let's say they got the deduct, if, if, uh, if let's say the pending order confirm to be the order, so it will same as well as for the stock level, so it will not change. Okay, so after you set this one, you can try it. If let's say your dynamo there got any transaction, any balance, if let's say uh, after this one, you got three, Maybe uh, by default it's five. So got the sum of transaction to deduct already then become three. After that system will sync to the Shopee there or the site giant or Lazada. It will update the quantity as well directly to the marketplace there. So this is the, our auto sync quantity. La. So maybe you can try if let's say you got the, for the sum of the dealer, you got the open testing account for Shopee, Lazada or such area, maybe you can try it, these features. And then the next one will be the shop to go module. For just now it's the market price. Uh. So this one is the second topic for the dynamic enhancement is the shop to go module. So for this one, uh, we got enhanced to pro directly, once you want to set up the new store, system will directly to set the default store API key value. So because uh, last time don't have to put it, so we're not sure uh, 
the store API key is what. So always need to copy from other side or always to ask up. So actually, uh, once we get the, this one setting, API key is uh, all the same one. So we default to fix it here. So no need to check. You just have to get the store API URL only. But after you set it, you have to take note this. You set all this one, you have to get the access token. So access token will be different. Uh, so this one will be more easier idea to do the setting. The next one will be for the shop to go is got the enhancement to upload the brand from our Dynamo to the online store shop to go there. So here you can see if let's say once you uh, set up the brand from Dynamo already, you can click on more here, the store set up there, you click on more, you upload the brand to the online store. So you can see all the online store, you get the, all the brand from the Dynamo ID. So you can go through the brand there, you will see the brand listing there. So have to make sure is, uh, you have to upload the brand first. If, uh, if let's say this is the new company set up for the online store, new online store, so you have to upload the brand first before you upload the product. So this one you have to take note. Okay. Yeah. And then the, the next one will be the change of the upload location to online store. So you can get the down, you have for here you have to download the state or the and the city from the online store there. So it will include the postcode and city and stage there. Okay, so by the, by last time, actually, we got the four address, address one, address two, three, and four. For now, we will take up the three and four ID. Then uh, you can set up the city, follow the pro, uh, provide, the listing provided by the uh, our web store vendor there. And then the stage also same will be provided by the web, web store vendor there. If let's say you found the, maybe the city not included at the listing here, maybe you can uh, let us know, then we can uh, update. We will request the vendor there to update. Okay, the next one will be the enhanced the new price product. Okay, for last time, this one new price product, uh, the API there will include, if let's say the, the product name, if let's say the price are actually changed already, but once you update, it will update others information as well, like the product uh, description or name or the others information at the, the setting there. So for now, really is this update the price product just the uh, only affect the price only. Lah. So it will not uh, include other product information already. So this one will so apply at the, our process manager for the shop to go upload new price product as well. So this one, uh, you click on the shop to go product there. You can see this one 4 and 4.2 upload update and upload the selected product price. So this function is same as the process major shop to go upload new price product. Okay. The next one will be the, we also added the new API endpoint dynamo upload product. So in order to upload the in-cut renewal year, cause the uh, last time, uh, Web store vendor there, they cannot get our uh, the, the in-cut renewal, the renewal year, is, and then which item is the re in-cut renewal stock. So by these two column there, they will get it. Uh, this item is the in-cut renewal stock and the renewal year as well. So maybe uh, this, I, this renewal is two year or three year or five year, it, uh, they will get it. So this one will, will be more easier. So this one have to take note, you have to set up 
the item if let's say the renewal stock is another different item like the offline store there one so you have to after you create at the in renewal stock there then the system will directly to get the info from there so this one have to make sure at uh, set up at the post setting there post setting means the dynamo post setting there are post management there so you have to set up there then system will link to there the, these two information will link will get from there so this one the third one will be the in card module enhancement enhance the system setting by adding the new option enable the new member change default password okay this one by default uh, system will take the checkbox same as the previous original setting uh. so when in card renewal uh, if to do the in card registration always will prompt up the box when they confirm to register the membership we will prompt up this uh, in card new password always uh, we will leave blank uh, if let's say they don't want, uh, if the cashier no ask the user to key in the password so here or actually here you, you can take note here is the leave blank we if use the default password so default password actually is uh, the the member the last six digit okay so this one uh, maybe if they say they don't want to set up this don't want to see this screen so maybe they can go through the post management there set up post setting there we got an in card company system setting uh this screen you can uncheck the setting so when they register the membership it will not show this screen so it will directly to register any so this one is the new function another one is uh we add the it new indicator the enable new transaction from scan in card member this one actually the function like the if let's say your system uh the user got set the setting when login from up the salesman this thing so now when if you say you've got set this one you've got check uh do the checkbox for this from scan in card member once they complete the new transaction uh last transaction then when once they come back to the post main screen you will prompt up this one in card uh searching screen or when after they log out the post and log in the post again it will come up the screen as well so this one cause uh, for some of the user maybe they they always they forget maybe the cashier always forget to key in as the membership so this one you can let the user to or cashier there always will see have to ask the customer uh, do you have the, any membership for our shop there so they will always will ask the customer before they scan the item so have to take note is uh, the post system at fmb version have to also latest version as well uh, at least uh, 2021.3 build zero okay so the next one will be the post related update uh, this one we got enhance the post to perform online check the stock balance based on the quantity on sell stock alert level by company or location actually the first thing you have to set on the company common module set up there we go through the company default setting then you go to the last one system behavior you enable this function enable online check quantity sell stock alert level for post so we got also got two options here quantity on sell stock alert level method for post by company stock level or location stock level uh, have to take note of this one at least the version if let's say you want to use this function um, if let's say the user still at the 2021.2 the version at least 
need to hop fix night and above up. Server socket have to build three, and then the client socket is the build two, post or FMP is a build five. But if can update to the new version of 20, 21.3. We will maybe some will got some of the fixes uh, after this just now the 2021.2 version or the hotfix day. Okay, so and after just now enable this one, the next one you have the user have to set every item on the quantity on sale. Maybe uh some of the user that don't want to sell the stock. Uh, got the negative one. So here maybe they can set zero and then the checkbox there have to take the enable. So if let's say the stock now uh, for the company or the location there only left one on it, then when the post user or cashier there that scan the item, if let's say more than one, system will prompt up this type of the message, uh, the con got the stock alert level company or location control. And then now cause the, for here, the cashier key in two quantity. So it's not allowed to sell cause the lab, stock level is one only. That's why here we prompt the message like this one. So it will not uh, oversell for the item. The next enhancement will be is the new we can log in using the, cause last time actually we can log in using by the password MSR. For now we got a fingerprint as well. And then if the sub of the user, they don't want the sub uh, simply to log in by password, then they can set, don't want the password and check up. Then maybe just a fingerprint or the MSR already. So after you set, the post that you will, this user will sync this kind of setting to the post there, then you will see the login method by password or fingerprint as well. So later for the how to do use the fingerprint, maybe later the post enhancement that I will show you. Okay. The next one will be the subsidiary company module. Uh, we enhance the sync stock new option because always we set the subsidiary company there, you will see the setting for this screen. By default here, we don't have, uh, for the last version or last time, the uh, previous version, we don't have this uh, checkbox, this listing. For now, we added to sync the option by this kind of setting. Because some of the company, maybe they want to sync the stock, but they don't want to sync the changing of brand or group, the grouping, this kind of grouping to the subsidiary company. Cause maybe subsidiary company got their own maintain at their, for this uh, group, stock grouping. So this one we can, don't want to sync, if I said they don't want to uh, sync this kind of information to update to the subsidiary company there. So maybe, uh, you, but this one by default will check all same as the last time you sync together and then and unless uh, your customer or the, the the user don't want this kind of setting then you can let us know or how to do this uh. but for here if let's say you actually this one setting is click on the process manager there configure the subsidiary company connection there uh, you can uncheck this setting from there on the page three, this one. Okay. So this one have to make sure the version, if let's say maybe uh, still not yet updated to the latest version, maybe you can try on this uh, 2021.2 hotfix 6 or the process manager is a 2021.2 build 3. So this one, need at least these two version from from this uh, setting. And then the next one will be the report features update. Okay, 
So this one we got enhancement the high private grid in system by after the properties right click pop up menu there. Okay, actually uh last for last time this one is the previous setting. We always you will see the summary listing there. You can see the total quantity and the grand total. So maybe some of the user they found it cost uh, actually this item multi um item uh is the same item. If you see the total like this, actually uh five this one is the five trim pack. Oh, actually also same is the 10 bottle as well. By default here, actually the stock level only got 10 bottle. So if let's say you check on here, you see it's 15, actually it's incorrect. So maybe you can right click at the header there, then you click on the properties. So you, you, you can uh, either you want to show the column granddaughter or column daughter or row granddaughter or row daughter as well you can hide it or show it so maybe some of the user think it, this information not important for them is uh, and incorrect for them so maybe you can hide it so this one depends on user so if let's say you hide it you will see the listing like this already summary listing so it will be more uh, accurate uh, for some of the user. And then the next one, we got the enhancement, the stock top sales analysis, improve the report performance, we've changed the return result from the server instead. For last time, for the previous version, you have to preview the report first then only to do the, you want to show the system, uh, maybe some of the stock top 10 or top five by quantity or by value. By the new version, you can select first, you want the top sales by 10 or by the value or by quantity as well before you preview. So if you uh, enhance the report speed performance, so of course for last time you maybe you check the listing a lot so if you take the time to look the report then after look the report then you only need to filter the top 10 or top 5 or top 3 if you take the time there so for here you before you do the this filter it will be more smooth for the performance so for here by default, uh, we will set it the top sales by value first, uh, by value, and then uh, it's the, uh, by default is by 10, top 10. And then here you will see the new checkbox analysis by grouping option. If you uncheck means the report represented in top sales stock in each grouping so it will just show the top 10 stock sales in each brand in you check it means a uh, report represent represent in top sales analysis by grouping option so it will show the top 10 brand sales only so for the next one uh, i will show you how to use this kind of function so you can see it. If let's say you use this report format, analysis grouping option, the first one you have to do, but you have to check it. Take the analysis grouping option for this report format. Then you can choose the grouping option by brand category, depends which one you want. Then you will see if let's say you select by 10 and check, take this one, you will see the report sample like this. You will show the top 10 brands only. You will not show the details, this brand, uh, which item you will not show. So this is 
for some of the user, maybe they want to check the top 10 brands category or top 10 group or you certify group one, two, three also can. And then system also got rewrap the report format for the stock top sales analysis, top sales, and then the top sales stock in each grouping. Okay, so this is the format. If you select this format, the grouping option have to uncheck and then the grouping option is other than stock. Here you will see the grouping option for a stock. But uh, if let's say you use this format, actually uh, your, your grouping option only brand group category or user defined group one, two, three, or color size. So don't use the stock because this one uh, for later the next report format. Okay. For here, if let's say you select this one by brand you will show every brand every brand top 10 item if you set the top 10 top sales by uh, top 10 so it will show the value top 10 or quantity top 10 for every brand brand if let's say the maybe the month maybe they sell maybe not because you select top 10 but maybe the month they sell only uh this brand maybe three or four items so it will not show top 10 so have to take note not every brand but maximum is ten, uh, top uh, for top 10 only la. if you set here the maximum show top uh, 10 of the every brand only so the next one is if you let's say uh, you, if you use this stock only the grouping option uh, must be stock and then untake this one setting, it will show all your item, stock item, top 10 only. So it will not uh, grouping by every brand or any grouping. So all will be your stock. So you will see the overall of the sales for the, all the product, top 10 item is what. So it, here will show it. Okay. The next one also stem actually this one is the by location. Just now it's the whole company level stock level. So here is the by location. So actually just now the setting is same, but here we will show by every uh by the outlet. If let's say maybe I show the sample for here. So just now is the whole company. Here it will show every uh, outlet, the top 10 brand, uh, top five brand or top 10 brand only. If let's say for here, for the next report is the top, for maybe this one Malacca, it will show every brand top five. So here, if let's say for the stock here, this format, it will show the every outlet top five brand only a uh, top five product stock so this is the sample maybe you can try if there's a cost just now okay for this one just now is the for this one is a stock top sale analysis another one is a also top sales analysis but this one is by location okay the next one Also the enhancement for the report features. This is a stock activity listing. We added the new option for the activity option and the activity type. This one is enable to produce no activity stock listing for selected uh, date range. That means here last time you will see if let's say no activity, you will not show. But here now we can set either you want with the activities or without or no activity or combine got activity and no activity also will show and then we also can select the, you want just to see the inventory uh, activity only or your pro change activity or sales activity as well so you can filter like this and then if let's say the suspect zero by overall or location also can do it and then 
the default format, current system, the format also updated. Maybe uh, if let's say last time you got amend the format for the previous one, maybe you can try to check back the default. Default is the, you can see the system format, this column, you got that one is the default format. We got update this format already. So uh, this one, we, you have to check. If let's say uh, maybe your previous ones amend the format, maybe to show cannot, uh, maybe not the things you want, maybe you can try to check back the default format and amend again. Okay, so for example, if let's say you don't want to see the, uh, no, you, you just want to see the no activity for the month, you can check on this. Then based on this selection, means it would present the stock list with on hand balance and don't have any activity for the selection date. Then uh, it's either for the inventory or purchase or sales at the, this period. So it don't have the, any movement, uh, any activity. It will only show the on hand quantity only. Okay, if activity, it will show if let's say you got this activity on maybe sales or inventory or purchase, then it will show this as well. So this one, maybe you can try it to test. Maybe some of the user, they want to see a hey, last month, uh, which uh, stock don't have activity once means don't have sales for the item for the product, then they can check the sales and without activity, then they can see or oh, last month, this post of the listing for uh, stock product listing don't have any activity on last month. Then that's mean no movement. No? So they can check on here or the purchase. Uh, maybe this want to check it last month. Is it got any purchase from there? So they can check it or got do any inventory by stock pay adjustment or receipt also can check from here. Okay, the next one is the, I think this really is the new, very new features for all the user and dealer, I think. This one is the auto email by schedule for the report with the email schedule function. Okay. For here, uh, you can, you have, actually this one, you have to enable the, these features on the company default setting there. So you, after you set this one, you can see the, the format there. Uh, you will got one more icon or button. It's called schedule email. So you can maybe, some of the merchant or user, they want to check the sales report, then uh, maybe they don't want to log in the system. So after the day, they can, uh, the, the next day, we do the, this schedule email, then they can receive uh, the report by email for them. So as just now mentioned is have to set up or enable this report email schedule. And then uh, have to set up the new screen. Actually, this one is the new screen on common module set up. You will see the email recipient. So you have to set up the recipient email. And then you have to do the schedule how to uh, this one the email group because just now you set the recipient only then the next one you have to set the recipient group maybe got a boss uh, management group or the some of the department head they want to set uh, department a want to check on what report department b or what report maybe the sales department or service department or Depends on maybe boss, they, they want to show the summary report so you can set the group 
for the recipient as well. Then, so this one also at the common module set up there, you can see just now is the email recipient, another one is the email recipient group. So have to, if let's say, uh, cost for always the new features here, we don't have set the access right. So have to make sure the user or who want to use these features have to enable the access right for them. And then how to run the auto email by schedule. So maybe uh, I select one of the report format is the post sales summary. So cost a uh, some of the user they want to check their post because always they will ask the cashier to send the report for them. So if let's say you set the schedule email for this, so they no need to ask the cashier to send the report for them. The system will send the report by the schedule setting. So after this one, maybe uh, they want to check the sales post summary, they can uh, select the format first and then click on this schedule email. Okay, you will after you click this schedule email system, you prompt the screen. Here you have to set the email sender who sent the email. This one actually uh, you have to set on the common module setup and the company email account, the template also have to set on the common module set up uh, the company email template. You have to set these two template first, uh, template and send who, uh, who send the email. And then if let's say you forget how to set, you can click on this link. Actually, uh, for the previous, the statement listing there, we got a new features for the last version to for the to do the statement listing. Actually, this one is some same idea how to set. So maybe you can click this uh, link to check how to set this two setting. And then this is the recipient list as just now uh, we set just now. We can select the recipient by the recipient group. You can check all or check the one of the department or the group. Uh, okay. And then we have to set the report pin as by who. And then we got two, uh, we can set the schedule from when. You can set a uh, future date or time. So system will trigger the time on, maybe we set by send by every day or by every month, then we can set from here. If you daily, it will show every day the report. If you buy monthly, then we'll show one month, one time only. So here you have to set the date from cost. Uh, y minus one means uh, we'll send the report for last day or yesterday one from. So this one is depend how to set up. Then after you set it, you click the generous schedule. You will see this listing. And then uh, for monthly, okay, just now we set the daily, we show the daily. And then for monthly, we show the month. So one month, one time, one report, whole list. So before before just now, uh, all the setting completed, you want to test, you can key in your mail, your email to test send. So you will receive the report. But for here, you have to take note of for testing the date. If let's say you got set the aspect, the, the format. So the test email, the, the year is 1899, but by uh, original send one, you will follow the day when you receive. So this one have to take note for here. Actually, it's no miss. This one is no problem one up. Don't cause worry, then later you try it. How come the date is like that? Actually, it's no, no problem. Huh? 
if you for the live actual schedule email one is don't have this type of uh, issue so this one if let's say you receive this one is the testing one so this one uh after you set all you have to set the schedule okay after you set the schedule if let's say you want to check back the listing you 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 want to check is it uh is this schedule already or success to send out or fail to send out? You can check on the common module maintenance there. You can see the email schedule. You can see the listing, what you do the schedule listing. So here you can see the process method and process day time. Okay. But how you set at just now at the dynamo day you have to make sure you have to set the process manager to do the send schedule email okay for send schedule the email on what time actually is depend on the setting here trigger time this one just now you set here the process manager here the process major here is to trigger is it uh to which uh you will not follow the time to this a uh, minute to send even you set 10 minutes just trigger is it uh they got uh want to send the email on this time only so this one have to make sure you set the time correctly on here here will not follow here will just trigger to track is it uh, which report you the uh, system need to the process manager need to run to trigger at the format there which one to send up on it it will not follow this minute to send so even you want to set uh, one day one time so it will based on maybe you can set uh, one hour 60 minute to trigger every time also can Okay, so if you're successful to send up, you will see here. So here actually you will see process status, is this success or fail? And then the process, process method here, or if let's say just now, maybe you try by yourself testing, you pick the execute one. Here we show is menu or by auto. And then here, if let's say uh want to send again, you can change the status. You will you uh process manager can run again to to send again. So if let's say first time fail, they can send. You can change the status or before already send already. You can change the status. Then system can the process manager can run again to send again. But here if let's say success here will not send again. Okay, so for what report we can do this kind of the auto schedule? Actually, we got a 153 report screen available for this one uh, schedule to send email. So uh, you can check on the common module there. We've got the system. You can click on system unity report format. You can check on the report management here. You can see one of the column is the this report can email schedule. So if let's say got take means uh, this report uh, can do the email schedule. If no take means cannot, uh, so have to check which report can, which report cannot to do. Okay. For the dealer there, maybe you can you have to take note is uh we got uh, enhance on the delete training transaction for the poll system for delete some of the table cost for previous script not encountered uh, to delete like the online sales history or seats so this one have to take note you have to if let's say uh, you you always will keep a copy on your pen drive one you have to update you you have to copy a new one or set a new script to delete the post or fmb you have to keep the new one if let's say you for the new case so you have to take note you have to copy the new script okay 
And then the next one for this one, miscellaneous update. For the stock assembly, we all, we got the auto boom features. So we got a cost of stock assembly. You can see now we got three stock assembly uh, prefix. So for auto boom, we separate up one more. This system will prefix uh, ASM AB at the. So that's mean you, if let's say uh, you check on the stock assembly there, you check the document number is prefixed by this one ASM AB for the it's a auto boom uh, document. So this one, if let's say you update to the new version, you will auto boom item will use this prefix already. So the next one will encounter the touch pro, the customer order info, stock alert level on sale. I think this one just now uh, got said how to use at the, how to set on the dynamo for post here, we simply how to show you how to do. And then the in-card registration enhancement, and then the in-card voucher list with password redemption, shop to go in-card renewal transaction, price book feature and function, and fingerprint function. So also got seven topics like that. Okay, for here, if let's say I want to check the touchable change log or FMB change log, you can click on the link here, then you can see the what we have enhanced on this uh 2021.2 or and 2021.3. Okay, for this one, passport customer order info, we added the screen same as the touch FMB. Past for touch FMB, this one for previous version only the touch FMB called post actually don't have that. So you can click this one information. Cause uh, some of the user maybe they don't have maintain, don't want to maintain the customer on their database there. So maybe some of the customer, they put the order in for like some of the customer uh, walk in, they want to, uh, to, to, to make a booking or anything, then you can keep the record by here. But the ID still remain using our default customer cash, working customer, the ID, but you can amend the name for different customer got different name there and then the telephone number address you can key in reference number and collection date so maybe some of the customer they uh maybe it's the bakery shop they want to order the cake or the pharmacy they want to uh the customer they want order the some of the medicine so they can do the order info to keep the data for here but this one will not set on your customer database not we will not create the cut file at the customer day so this is the different new features for the post data and then this one actually you have to update uh, at least the version is the 2021.2 bit 7 only can see these features uh, for the post if for the if let's say after you set up this one you want to print up at the receipt for the whole bill there so you can update for this one because uh, for bill 7 don't have the print up for this kind of information so you have to update it to the 2021.3 bill 3 only can print up to set up the this column at the receipt format there to print up. So this one you have to take note. Uh. If let's say you got new this kind of setting, you have actually if better you want to up use this one, you can update it to the 2021.3 build tree. And then the next one is just now I got show is how to set up the online checking uh, stock alert for the quantity on sale so this one actually just now uh, got mentioned at the dynamic here have to enable this function so this one as uh, just now post there so you can click in then you can 
if let's say the customer want to got set some of the product they got the limit one then they can set it up so it will not oversell the next one is the in card registration to trigger false reset password on registration okay just now i got show you is the checkbox there you got take for this one so it will prompt up this one if you un if you untake here it will not prompt up this in card new password screen when registration so this one for post have to update it to 2021.2 bit file okay the next one we added the voucher list with the password redemption okay for last time if let's say uh, the customer the member want to redeem the in-card voucher they actually once the cashier click on the in-card voucher then only available to scan if let's say the customer got show the app the voucher the, at the app there they have to scan to get the number but for now we added the new features is on here we can see the voucher available and here you can check click the open voucher list once you click in you will see a system will prompt up have to key in the this member the member in card redeem password for the voucher so they have to key in the redeem password and then you will prompt the list to here so here you can see uh, the voucher number just not as available one uh. so here you can see uh, the voucher number and then the voucher they used before and the expired voucher also will show on the listing here so after select and apply the voucher, you will uh, you will apply at the screen here to uh, for the redeem the voucher. But if let's say just now, uh, maybe some of the cash uh, members they forget the password, they want to check the voucher listing. If let's say they want they ask the cashier, they want to check. So actually, they no key in the password or key wrong the password. System, uh, here we prompt the lead, uh, the message, pin verification fail, and then mask voucher will be displayed. That means here, if let's say just now the password I key wrongly to, or simply to key in, or no key in the password, they will show the voucher number like this, so they cannot redeem so even you go to take it and the cashier want to try to take it and apply the voucher system will prompt the message is the mask voucher cannot be redeemed please try uh, key in the redeem password so you have to ask the member to retype the password if they know the password so this one have to take note of. so here put the mask not the problem not the issue uh, it's because the, the 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 member key in the wrong password or maybe sometimes it's the cashier they testing so here we show win uh, the pin verification field so they will mask the password like this one okay the next one is uh, if let's say for the shop to go in if let's say the user got use the shop to go these features or oh, the dealer there, the, maybe they got the customer got you this one shop to go features for the in card renewal transaction. Cause uh, for last time, they will, if let's say got the new in card transaction come in the post here, it will not, it will prompt, it will put at the cell backup ready and then uh, have to request the user or member to put give the verification code but this is uh, incorrect for the implementation way so for the new features uh, it will auto complete the status that means if let's say uh, the member already renew at the online web store there they will auto sync to the it will send the order to the 
post here auto completed. So this feature actually is uh, enhanced on 2021.2 BIP7 already. But for this type of setting, have to take note uh, at the in card review, at the dynamo in card reviewer stop there, you have to set this setting. You have to add the in card renewal stop uh, at here. But you can untake the active one. If not, system will not trigger the auto update. So this one have to take note of. If let's say the online membership is different in card stock item, so have to add in to here, then system only will trigger this update. Okay, the next one is the, we added the member file screen to able to show the stock price book. For previous version, uh, system is not allowed to check the post system there maybe don't have this features uh, stock price book. Actually, uh, some of maybe they want to check if this member, uh, this customer is what under what pricing, then they cannot check. So here we added uh, this uh, at the screen here. Okay, actually is what is the price book? Maybe I think uh, last version don't have to mention for this uh, the stock price book. That's why now uh, maybe can give you a review here. We can set the stock price book feature on the dynamo there. Actually, stock price book is uh, we can set the price more cost. Always we set the item price is got price one, two, three, four, five. So we can set the price more than five already. You can unlimited to set the price until you want. Okay. So we we can set uh, the customer assign which customer can able to assign to see the this maybe you set the price six so who able to set and then uh which post able to to use the the this pricing here we can check we can uh, import the listing uh we can set the price to check uh what item will under this pr price six so this one actually can set for the lines. Maybe some of the customer they got or the merchant they got the grab food or food panda because the pricing is different with the uh, maybe their stock, uh, stock, the outlet stock there. So maybe they use fully to use one price until five. So they're not able to set the price uh, more than five anymore. So they can use these features to set uh, the number, uh, the price six or price seven, or maybe you can set the ID is the price for the grab food, grab ma, or food panda like that. Okay, after you set here, the customers there, we have to set default price book for the customer. So when trigger this customer, they will auto capture the price is price six, oh? if let's say you got set this one. And then this one have to make sure uh, the price book required the additional license to access it. Uh. So this one actually on last version 2021.2 build zero already got these features. So maybe here I review again uh, since we got an enhancement for here. So here you can see if let's say the original price one is show is the 30 ringgit. Actually, this features if let's say you use the price two or price three, you can select the customer. If let's say the customer use the price two, it will show the price two or price three. But for here we can set the more than the price. If let's say your item maintain the price is more than five or six or seven ID. So you, after you just now select the customer for the like graphic, so all the items will scan up, you follow the price six price for the graphic. Okay, another one is the fingerprint function. Just now got mentioned how to set up at the dynamic day. 
But for Dynamo here, the fingerprint cannot register at the Dynamo data. So you have to register at the post there. So here Dynamo maybe just set uh, the, the user login, uh, able to log in by password or fingerprint or MSR. But for setting here, you have to set uh, for the setting here, you have to register the fingerprint. You have to log in the user setup screen here to click the register fingerprint. And then you have to register the fingerprint at here. So we can set four finger to print here, left and right index finger here. But take note is the brand for the fingerprint is this brand on it, digital personal. And then the model is uh, this model 4500. And then uh, to take note is the fingerprint resistor at the post. Mark. If let's say the post there, yeah, got multi outlet, every outlet have to register. If let's say the staff got uh, go to every outlet one. So you have to register on every post. Mark. So every post have to register the fingerprint, then uh, the staff only can log in by the fingerprint. Cause this one fingerprint at the moment is uh, set at the post database only. And then uh, this version have to up to 2021.2 build file for these features. And then uh, at the, these features, if let's say you update to these features already, then you have to go to the system setup there to enable this function. If you don't have enable this function, even just now you set uh, able to log in by fingerprint, you, uh, the user still cannot log in by the fingerprint if you don't set this one, because system cannot detect. So it will prompt no fingerprint device connected. Okay. So here you will see if let's say uh, the, cut, the cashier there only allowed to log in by the fingerprint. So we will, if let's say they key in the password, so we will prompt up, you are not allowed to log in with password. So here I will show you the some of the demo there, how to use the this device. So at the just now mentioned, this one have to use the this model and the brand. Okay, so we can use to log in the access, uh, access login by the fingerprint. So no need to gain any password. Okay, even the type attendance, we also can to use the fingerprint as well. They can punch in and punch out to punch out. Okay, and then here, if let's say the screen unlock already, so the you uh, uh, is already locked. Sorry, so if uh, user want to unlock the password screen, then they can also can unlock by the fingerprint as well. So this is the, our fingerprint features. But if let's say uh, you already updated the version to. 2021.3 build two already. And then the client socket also 2021.3 build zero already. This function we disable already, no longer need this enable fingerprint this way. And then uh, cause uh, some of the user or dealer there maybe do not get the driver to download this uh, fingerprint device. So we already ready the link at the system set up there, the post system set up there. So just click until the last page there, then you can get the link to download. So you want, if let's say the computer is the 32 bit, then you click the 32 bit to download. If let's say 64 bit one, then you can download to use this 64 bit to download. Okay, but 
before you want to enjoy these new features, have to make sure your 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 cover renewal is uh, got renewed already. Lah. If not, you cannot enjoy these features. So thank you, Aaron. This is the today enhancement, uh, version enhancement. Thanks everyone to join the section. Yeah. Bye. Thanks. Bye.